Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So in our previous lecture of BDD Cucumber series, we discussed about how to re-execute failed test cases using rerun plugin and failed test ng.xml mechanism of test ng. In case you haven't already looked into my video, I'll be sharing the link of same in the i icon. You can take a look to gain more understanding on how to re-execute the failed test cases post-execution. So in this video, what we discussed, we discussed how to re-execute post-execution. Now, what if we want to re-execute the failed test cases on the fly? Meaning, suppose there is a requirement wherein what we want, we want to re-execute the failed test cases on the fly. Whenever we are getting the failure, we want to retry at least for once or twice or thrice or whatever the number of times we want to re-execute. So what could be the reason? Let us understand the use case. Suppose there is an application th which has performance issues. So if we will re-execute the test case, we may get pass status, right? But there are some performance issues, but we don't want to worry about performance because they will settle down. What we want is we want to validate the functionality. So for that purpose, what do we want? We want to retry or we want to re-execute the failed test cases on the fly, right? So for that purpose, what we can use? So there is one mechanism in test ND that is I retry analyzer, which is an interface in test ND and is responsible for analyzing the failed test cases and help us executing the test cases once again. Okay. Now, as we have integrated Cucumber with test ND, so we can utilize the same feature in Cucumber as well. So how to do so? As I mentioned that I retry analyzer is one interface. So in order to use an interface, we need to create one class implementing this interface. So once we have implemented that class and we have written the retry logic, we need to use this retry class in the add the rate test annotation, meaning we need to provide it to the add the rate test, test annotation. So there are two ways to provide it to the add the rate test annotation. One is by directly giving it to the add the rate test annotation. Secondly, by using annotation transformer, which will help us changing the value of any annotation on the fly, meaning test ng annotation on the fly. So let us understand the use case, not use case from the practical demonstration. So as you are aware that we have already integrated test ng with Cucumber using abstract test ng Cucumber test. And we discussed about at the rate test annotation also because this is how the scenarios are getting converted into at the rate test which is an entry point in test entry right so in the first use case we discussed we can provide retry here but if i hit enter i get file is read only because this is one class which belongs to the library and we don't have the right access so in order to implement or in order to provide retry here we will have to go by a, go by a different way which we'll be discussing in the later section today so first we will be discussing about another alternative using annotation transformer we will be providing the value of retry or we will be setting the retry using i annotation transformer to this at the test annotation so before that let us understand retry so as i mentioned that i retry analyzer is one interface if i go here it has one method which is declared it does not have any definition and in java if we want to utilize or if we want to use an interface, what we need, we need to have one concrete class. So retry is one class which is implementing the site retry analyzer. So we have written one uh, like retry uh, logic. So whenever we implement any interface, we need to provide the definition of that particular method. So this particular method has annotation, not annotation, has listener i test result. So this i test result is nothing but it provides the test case status. So by default, after execution of test case, the control is coming here. It is saying, it is checking if the test result is not successful. First of all, check it is checking success. Then we are using this sign to negate it. Meaning it is checking if it is failure, then we are going inside this and we are returning true. Meaning what we are trying to do, if it returns true, meaning we want to re-execute the failed test case. If, if it will return false, we will not retry the failed test cases so this is what is the logic written so next try is how many time we want to re-execute the test case 
so for current example i kept it one you can change it as per your requirement so before we move on so uh, as we mentioned that once we have retry class then using because we have created this retry class now the next step is to provide it to the at the test annotation so how to do so we can do using annotation transformer so i annotation transformer is nothing this is one listener in test engine which is responsible for transforming the annotation on the fly in the on the run i mean right so what we are doing when we have implemented this interface we need to implement transform method and they are like different transform method i am using i test annotation based because i want to change the annotation value for at the rate test for test annotation value so what we are doing in this case i am setting the analyzer retry analyzer and i am pointing to this retry dot class so this is first step is i created the retry class and secondly i provided it to the annotation transform now the next step is we have defined both how to use it in the test engine or how to use it right for the execution purpose or how to integrate it so one way is using test engine dot xml so what we will do we will simply provide listener here yeah, like parallel to test what we need to do we need to provide listeners and under listeners i need to provide listener and i'm simply pointing i this failed test case dot annotation transformer right i'm going to comment it for now and uh, let me show you the example that we are going to execute so we have this test case wherein what we are trying to do we are launching google.com and we are intentionally making it as failure right now when i will re-execute when i'll execute this test case so in this case it will execute only once because we even though we have defined both the interfaces but we are not utilizing it somewhere right so in this case it will execute only once so we will see correct so you see that we got this assertion error right and it is not re-attempting so you can observe from here so you see if you you just notice that on the right side there is no bracket one two three now what i'm going to do i am going to provide failed in the test engine to xml i'm going to simply comment this section uncomment this section and i am now setting this listener so that test engine xml is aware that i need to listen to the this listener so what i'm going to do now i'm going to run it So we will observe it will retry once again. So it got executed, it got failed, and it will re-execute now. So you see that we are able to re-execute the failed test cases once. Now I'll show you from here. So as like previously, I was saying that you notice at right side, you see that in the packet, open and close packet, we have one, meaning it retried the same scenario one time because we have provided max try as one right so this is one way of uh, providing annotation transformer second way is using maven show sure plugin so in maven show sure plugin we have already discussed that in the configuration section we need to provide testng.xml similarly we can provide properties and in properties we need to provide property having name listener and we are again pointing to this fail test case dot annotation transform now in, in order to execute this uh, test case using maven we need to simply write in ambient test so what i'm going to do i'm going to simply execute it to show you this example and in this case also it will re-execute the test case once again so we see the test case is getting executed it will fail and it would be retried once again so you see that chrome driver is again getting launched correct so this is another way and then the third way is what we can do because normally when we write our test cases we execute it through runner so we need to simply go to that runner wherever the test and runner we need to right click on this we need to go to modify run configuration 
and here we have listener sections and under this we need to click on plus and we need to select this in my case i have already added it so if i'll run it from here even then it will re-execute the test cases if you want to provide the listener section it won't re-execute okay so this is the second case that we have discussed now we are going to discuss about first case wherein we can directly provide it to the at the rate test so for that purpose what i will do i'll go to this modifier and configuration because i'm not going to provide it from here so i'll simply remove from here right i'm removing from here as well this is done and i'm going to comment this section as well so that we are 100 percent sure that it is using this one so i'm going here so what i'm going to do here so in the previous examples we override overridden only the scenarios um, method in this case what i'm going to do i am going to uh, like override the run scenario also so if i go inside it i simply copy pasted this and came here and if you will see i am simply using super to recall this right and in this case what i am doing along with data provider if you will observe the difference between this and that so it has three attributes but in this case what we are doing we are providing retry analyzer and we are providing retry dot class correct so whatever we were doing through i annotation transformer same thing we are doing explicitly this time so i'll simply right click on this and i am going to re-execute this test case so you will observe the test case will re-execute similar to i annotation transformer so it will execute once it will fail and it will be re-executed So to confirm you that this particular method is getting used, what I'm going to do, I'm going to comment this section now. Okay. Now I'm going to re-execute the same test case. So in this case, it will execute only once. So we will see that we got the assertion error and it is not re-executed and that and the test case got failed as well right so this is these are two ways of providing retry analyzer to add the test annotation one is by directly by extending this abstract test and the cucumber test and overriding this run scenario method and providing explicitly or secondly using annotation transformer but the entry point is retry analyzer and once we have retry analyzer so either we can directly provide it in the add the test test or we can change the value or we can provide the value on the fly using annotation transformer so guys this is what i want you to cover in this section thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you